Hey everybody, got another video here for you. Well, obviously when the time comes, I'm going to have to coat the back of the heel of the body with this Teflon film as well, because this stuff's really cool. Okay, so I'm taking my preliminary measurements here for how deep these channels are going to have to be for the uh, neck pickup and the bridge pickup. And uh, right now it's reading 22 millimeters, but I'm thinking that to be safe, because um, I'd really prefer to just get it right and channel it once and be done with it. Um, I'm thinking that to be safe, really what I need to do is I need to put on the bridge and get it all set up with the correct action and everything and then take my measurements to figure out exactly how tall I want my pickups to be and that tells me exactly how deep I need my body routings to be. So, more or less, put it all together acoustically speaking. And then take measurements for the electronics. So to measure my bridge height here, I don't actually have to install this. All I have to do is put it together and the very first step was figuring out the piezos that are going to go under it. These are not the correct size. I've searched the place I could have sworn that some came in that were 10 millimeter. I can't find them, so I had to order more. They'll be here in a couple of days. They'll be here probably in time for putting the bridge on permanently. Um, but basically they're going to go, it's going to get a little recess drilled in there. And there'll be a piezo on either side here, 10 millimeter knot. These are like 27 millimeter. And then pick guard material is going to go over top. And on this side, it's going to stick out a lot. Stick out a lot, actually. It's going to stick out all the way over here because it'll have, it'll have the switches and the EQ mounted to it. So it'll be a big plastic plate like this kind of thing. And the bridge will mount right onto it like that so these two pieces of pick guard material here will account for that difference in height that thickness then all I need to do is just assemble the rest of the bridge onto this slap a saddle on run a straight edge across it and take some measurements Okay, I'm getting 
27 millimeters here and 23 millimeters here and as I recall the tallest pickup including the base plate was like 26 so I was thinking about it and really technically speaking I should shim the neck until the action is correct and it's going to require just a little bit of shim the action is this isn't that's probably only a one mil thick or something but yeah the action is real close but it's a little on the high side but the neck's only going to move up like half a millimeter and moving this end of this up half a millimeter isn't going to change either of these measurements a whole lot so I think I'm pretty safe with the numbers I'm running okay the numbers I'm coming up with are a one millimeter deep channel at the bridge and a five millimeter deep channel at the neck and I think the next thing I'm going to do is actually assemble an interchangeable pickup like an EMG because it's like the tallest one and just so that I can make sure that that's going to actually clock in at the expected 26 millimeter height in total So I've just kind of got this laid out as a mock-up here, but it's good enough to tell that my original estimate looks to be correct because there's one mil clearance at the back and I'm shooting for two mil clearance for when you're fretted at 24th. So um, yeah, it looks like a, a one mil channel up here. And I still got to figure out back here. Um, originally, I estimated a five mil channel, and I'm probably close to correct there too. So, okay, I've gone ahead and accurately marked out where these channels need to be, and as near as I can figure, this one should be one mil deep, and this one should be somewhere between five and seven millimeters deep depending on whether I'm shooting for the, the high or the low part of the radius here. So, um, so I've been thinking about how to go about this, and I think I'm just going to do it by hand. So, since nothing's really put together yet, this is a little fidgety, but once the pickup is mounted level, let me zoom in. Once the pickup is mounted level, we're looking at about about two mil of clearance, which is just what I was shooting for. So, yeah, let's cross the saddle on the 24th there, except the saddle just fell over. So.
so yeah looking good the channel actually is a little bit over a mil deep here for this channel but um yeah everything seems to be working okay now I gotta do that channel and there it is all ratted out this one's between five and six mil deep and this one's between one and two mil deep and there's the mounting plate and it slips right in there and it slips right in there now I gotta put it all back together and actually glue up a EMG to this thing and test fit it all So, this is the tallest pickup, and yeah, that clip underneath it actually makes it even taller. But, um, so the basic idea is once I get this thing to fit correctly under the strings at the proper height, then I can just take any old pickup of any type, basically, and just shim it until it's the same height as this thing, and it'll work on the guitar in either position. Perfectly, no problem. Without having to have height adjustment built into the system. And going forward, if I need to make, you know, an adjustment for an unusually 
hot or an unusually quiet pickup or something that's got a lot of magnetic pull or something like that, I can just, um, you know, say like, say like there was a certain kind of quad rail that had a lot of magnetic pull and you wanted to make it a millimeter lower than all the rest of the different other kinds of pickups. Then just for those quad rails, you just set them up at, let's see, I guess this is 26 millimeters or something crazy like that with the base. So yeah, you'd set it up at 25 millimeters with the base, that kind of idea. Okay, it looks like these channels are at the correct depth. I've got the desired amount of clearance here and here at the lower edge where the strings would be closer. And uh, yeah, so everything's hunky-dory. And these guys are clocking in at 26.07 millimeters tall from the bottom of the base plate to the top of the pickup. So you just shim everything so it's that thick and you're good to go. So I guess the next step is going to be to drill this thing for the inserts and put in the inserts and actually make it so you can screw these down. And then as far as the wiring goes, I've got the five pin JST connectors and uh, that's four pins for the four coil wires and then one pin for the hot wire for an active pickup and um, there uh, you don't have a whole lot of room to send it through the body I guess you could send it have it come out here and come out here and then you connect them up like that. Obviously I don't think I'm going to pres be preserving all of the pickup wire on these things. So, yeah, and this is going to be, well, it's not that hard to strip. The inside is the hot, and then this sheath here is the ground for both the power and the signal. And then this is the hot for the battery power. So, yeah, um, looks like the hard part's over, actually. Now I just have to make sure I don't mess anything up as I continue on. And I do have the 2 mil thick shims in here in order to account for the pick guard material that's going to come out here for the controls and mounting the EQ.
Okay, at this point, I think that I can declare the interchangeable pickup system to be a success. I've taken all the necessary measurements to show that everything's going to work okay. And the only thing left to do is to actually just wire on the connectors. And that's trivial, so yeah. It's all downhill from here as far as that part goes. Um, I'm waiting on small piezo discs for the bridge. And uh, let's see what else is left. Let me go check my list. Just occurred to me, you're going to be able to do some cool stuff with this system. If you want, this is a this is an 81, and it comes as a set with an 85. And the 81's normally the bridge unit. But with this, you can swap them around, put the 81 up here and the 85 down there if you want to, all kinds of crazy things. Okay, the uh, next thing on the list is uh, mounting controls through the body. Like... This is the typical location of the kill button on one of my builds in relation to like the strings. And, uh, and then the other thing is routing channels in the back of the body for all the wiring instead of running it around the outside and on the surface on the back. And I thought about it a bit and for the kill button, I mean I could mount it in the wood itself right here, drill a deep hole that comes close, and then drill a smaller hole to mount this through into that cavity and wire it from behind. Um, but I was thinking if I put it on a panel out here, then I can have the wire for it and the two pickups come out from under the body in a channel on the side here and uh, all this would kind of be covered by the by the panel for the kill button and then these guys get connected with the JST connector here and uh, they go to the pickup kind of like that and then the kill button would be on a panel like over top of all this like right about there and none of these wires would show pretty much you'd have a panel out like this if I can get my own hands out of the way okay so yeah you'd have a panel about as wide as this it could be even if you wanted it to be and then the kill button would go out there and uh, yeah and then these wires would be kind of hidden by that and they'd come up here to the pickup that kind of idea so I think that would probably work out best. The other option is I could get this out of the way. So all these wires would be going kind of like that. The other option is I can mount it like right there. And I don't know, it's, it's an option. Um, I don't know. There's no problem with putting it out here. I suppose it might look slicker if it was mounted internally here. Hmm, something to think about. Yeah, I could just drill a hole, solder the wire, and then just a drop of CA glue and shove it in the hole. And not have to worry about like drilling to a certain depth and then a smaller hole to mount through from the front. I could just figure out this diameter and just all the way through and just glue it in from the front once I wired a wire onto it, soldered a wire onto it. Maybe I'll do that. And uh, then let's see. So there's going to be, obviously, wh whether I put it out here or put it in here, there's going to be a wire coming off of this thing. It'll be two of these guys coming off for the two pickups. So all those wires will be here on the guitar, this kind of a thing. And then when it's flipped over, the control panel is going to be over on this side. Yeah, the control panel would be here. So basically I got to 
Let's see how big is the bridge. Bridge only, yeah, so the control panel is going to stick out no further than the bridge. So it's going to be over there. So basically I'm looking at probably routing a channel kind of like that. Just a single channel diagonally in order to send this bundle of wires. These two plus a kill switch kind of a thing. Send all that. It'd be a total of, uh, well, it'd be two of these things plus a piece of uh, four conductor wire that I'm only using two wires out of. So yeah, router channel, send all that stuff diagonally over here, and then the control panel will be sitting right here with, with three switches and three volumes and three more switches and then the EQ. So for the wire channel, this mark, this mark here is halfway between the pickups and that's where the panel goes, is this area here, and that's right in the middle. And these two circles here are where the inserts are for the bridge. So you gotta make sure you don't hit those. And yeah, if you just connect the dots, then it clears everything. It's a little close to the bridge here, but it's not too close. Just wanna make sure you don't cut into the bridge. And uh, on this side, that would put it kind of going like this, basically. And the pickups, the piezos, are going to go kind of back here. That kind of idea. So, it looks like everything should clear. Um, I wonder what I'm going to do about a piezo wire here. I guess I could always... Oh, well, that would be on that side, so the piece of wire on here. I guess I could always send it like that. Well, blow up that bridge when I get to it. I measured some four-conductor wire, and I also took this stuff and kind of bundled it up like that and measured it. And they're both clocking in a little under five millimeter diameter. So it looks like the channels are going to need to be like five mil deep and five mil wide for each like wire you want to run. So in my case I'm going to be running one, two, three wires across like this. So I'd make a channel that was like five mil deep and 15 mil wide and run the three wires next to each other and then cover it with the plate. As far as covering with the plate goes, I was kind of wondering whether I should cover the whole guitar or not, if the swing bar is going to be going here, then I don't necessarily have to cover it just past here where the routing is, so I could leave this part wood. I didn't want to really cover the heel, I don't think. So, this should take care of everything except for the piezos, which will be back here on the other side, like about here. So the wires will be coming out someplace like here if I send them through the body. Um, yeah, I need my piezos. I'm uh, changing up the bridge screws that I'm using. These are the original screws, and they're actually dangerously long for bodies this thin. I'm going to be switching to something like this in the back, which is beefier, but a little shorter. Let me do it this way. 
There we go. Okay. That's the new screw. That's the old screw. This is beefier. Still fits the bracket nicely, though. And uh, this is dangerously long. And in the front, I've got these things, which are the same size beefiness and not quite as long as these guys. The front is actually, the bracket is thicker at the front than the back, so you want a slightly longer screw for the front in order to get the same reach on both. And I took into account the the two millimeters of uh, pickguard material that will be underneath this. And the bridge holes are drilled. And the next thing is the thumb screw for the like the pivot hole. So the insert for the thumb screw for the pivot screw for the leg bar will go in here, but I'm not going to put it in yet because the wiring will go in, the cover plate will go on, I'll have to drill a hole in the cover plate and, uh, and then put the cover plate on, and then I want to install the insert so that it's flush with the cover plate. So, these are the two front screws for the bridge, and these are the two screws that will attach the extension, which has some of that blue stuff on it. I gotta clean it up to the sway to the leg bar, which also has some blue stuff on it. Apparently, I already drilled the pilot holes on this thing. It's going all the way through, so yeah. Now on the purest barrel tuner, when I first tested this kind of leg bar, it only had one screw. And, you know, that's okay. The lacquer and the screw between the two of them will hold things together. But long term, obviously, you don't want to count on just one screw and lacquer because if the screw comes loose, your, your stuff will start spinning around. So... So on this one, second build, second try, making constant improvement. Continual sharpening of the saw, I believe is the term, actually. Yeah, continually sharpen the saw. So yeah, next improvement here, going to two screws. Yeah, it's an obvious choice. And uh, so yeah, those are the two screws right there. And it's time to get squirting. And I'm going to go with a gloss black in order to kind of better match all the rest of the hardware instead of the flat black. So, taking a look at the uh, results of the paint job here, and it's looking pretty good. The finish on them is not bad at all, actually. Especially considering that I bought the paint at Dollar General, so it was definitely not expensive.
Okay, I think that's going to do it for this video. So, until the next one, everybody, have a good one.